Seven community groups have come together with a common goal, to protect Hawaii's ocean. We talked with the Maui Nui Makai Network about their mission and their new speaker series. Right now on Living 808, we will spend a few minutes talking about the important work that the Maui Nui Makai Network is doing. I have the pleasure of welcoming the chair, Claudia Kalaola, to Living 808 to fill us in. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Well, I'd like to find out more about your network and what important work that you have been engaging in since um, starting as founder. The Maui Nui Makai Network is, uh, consists of seven communities throughout Maui Nui which includes uh, Maui, Molokai, Langai, and Kaho'olabe. Our purpose is to use our diversity in base experiences and our strategies to raise awareness of nearshore ecosystems and uh, natural resources, and also to support, of course, the communities throughout Maui Nui that you know, would, would benefit from um, any help that we could give them. Can you give us an example, so, for instance, uh, the Malama Honua Worldwide Voyage of Hokulea. As Hokulea went on its Malama Honua Voyage, um, we would, in our communities, continue our work to, um, to make Hawaii a better place for the generations to come, to assure supplies of resources, all the good, all the stuff that um, is naturally from Hawaii. Uh, we pledged that we would take care of it and um, continue with the good work that we do. I understand there are also proposals having to do with fishing. Can you elaborate more on that? Uh, Community-based subsistence fishing areas. How, how it started was in 1993 on Molokai, uh, then Governor John Waihe'e, they surveyed the people of Molokai and 51% uh, said that subsistence fishing was very important. What happened in 94 was they did a trial uh, the trial designation area we went for two years and, and out of that came the, the Act 271, which was actually now the CBSFA designation. Work and with the different uh, groups too has also led to a guide that compiles over 10 years of experience. Uh, tell us about that. Part of us, uh, you know, our forming of our group is uh, to have a community action plan. And in order to do that, we had to look at all the aspects of our group and what we wanted to do, where we wanted to be, uh, you know, our management plan, our strategic plan. In the recent 10 years, we've collected all of the data and all of the processes that, that each community did and compiled it. And then we um, went out to different communities in East Maui. We held workshops for them using all of the processes that we did, you know, and uh, it, it provided a knowledgeable way for them to go about in starting and creating their uh, community action plan. Since we've introduced it, we've had um, downloads from across, you know, all over the world. So it's a good resource. And it can be found on our website, by the way, just, you know, download it. Uh, it's free, no cost. And you're also going to be sharing more knowledge through a new monthly webinar speaker series. What do you have planned for that? Since the fall, we've been trying to gather names of Indigenous people who can um, be a part of our speaker series that can talk on um, the way that they themselves uh, manage their resources and conservation. From now till November, we'll have one speaker each month, um, you know, to, to present. And um, again, all of that information can be found on our website. It has the schedule for all of the months and that'll run through November. Okay, we have the website up right now, mauinui.net. Thank you so much yeah. for the work you do and for coming on Living 808 to tell us more about all of the important projects you have going on. Beautiful, and you see so many people working together and to make sure uh, that they share their knowledge and best practices and everything. So we thank them for coming on Living 808. And we'll have some information on our website, k22.com, shortly after the show. Mm -hmm. All right, things.